Hi everyone, welcome back to the Shetty channel. Today I'm gonna do this video which I hadn't ever done before. Guess what? It's I'm gonna do unboxing. Unboxing about what? It's unboxing the exam. Genius watching this video, please watch the end. You're gonna get amazing the real bad. So this is the Putnam competition, a math competition for the American undergrads. You know, uh, this thing has uh, really the degree of the hardness for this question is in a different level. And you can see here, this question has one A1, A2, A3, and A4, and A5, A6. And here B1, B2, B3, B4, and B5, and B6. Okay, usually you can get a three hard section for this examination, and you, you may get that section, uh, three hard section with a lunch break too. Typically, you can plan like the A questions before the lunch break and B questions after the lunch break. Yeah, it may seem like it may seem like we are planning and it may go to the plan. But the degree of the hardness, okay, it shows that you, you know you you can't just complete one question or maybe even a half question in a section before the lunch break. Okay, that's how hard it is and that's how tricky it is. You should know a lot of theory in mathematics, you know, uh, you should get develop a tangential skill set, you know, solution. I may get uh, I will give the question paper link in the description box and also the link and also the solution link in the description box, you know, just see it. So the entire exam okay if you want to see the entire exam i'll give it in the link you know the entire exam the median score the 120 points okay usually they will be getting zero to one zero to one if you uh, think that if you get about uh two or even two you should think that you should be proud of yourself and you should think that you are about the median score okay so uh i'll be uh, saying about something about this uh questions how hard the questions are okay let me uh give about okay let me say about the these questions okay let me say about it okay you know they are saying that let yes be the subset of the natural uh numbers okay that means you have to give the option that whether the two whether the two belongs to uh s okay you have to say it is if two it's two belongs to s or yeah and then the next option says if uh like you know if n square uh belongs to yes then also n belongs to yes okay this is a greek symbol epsilon Okay, n belongs to yes. Okay, and also in the last option, if n if n plus five, if n belongs if the next question, if n belongs to five, five then n plus n plus n plus five whole square also belongs to us. Is this a mathematical theorem? Those who study in the higher school will be going us. Now you have to prove that which are not in yes. So that is the thing, which are not in this. So you have to see, okay, which positive integers are not in this. In these three options, you have to prove. And I will give the solutions uh, below. You may. Okay. Now also see, uh, and, and also now transfer to the next question. This question, right, it also came in 2013. Okay, it's a repeated question. That's how people say, uh, please uh, clear the previous examination. Now, let's come here. Here, we want to define some uh, polynomials. Okay, some polynomials uh, recursively. Now, see the question. Let Q O X is equal to 1. Let Q 1 X is equal to X. And then Q N X is equal to Q N minus 1 X square minus 1. Do the whole divided by Q N minus of 2x so you have to prove this okay so our goal okay so our goal you know our goal is just to show in this question that q of n the whole x belongs to s x i think of course this uh this notation much uh, seems uh 
very strange for you but you have to know this okay so now this question is to consider a lot of time a lot of time you have to do some mathematical theorem for it and now uh, that's how the questions all this are also for the sake of the b questions to revise see this see this n is equal to a a plus one plus a the whole a plus two plus 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 a plus k minus one okay so we should see that which is the smallest value of a we have to prove this okay so that is how the hardness of the paper so if you consider yourself as a real genius uh, clear this personal competition okay personal competition clear this you know this paper was uh, this paper in the 2020 way back in 2017 was cleared by a, a MIT student okay MIT student Massachusetts uh, Institute of Technology and then the Harvard students and then the Princeton it came you know the Harvard students are done very well in this exam so if you are an American undergrad or you know if you are also an Ind Indian citizen okay try to clear it and develop your knowledge you know give your opinions on this exam in this exam or if you participate in this exam how uh, the experience for you how the uh, exam questions are there and say uh, say in the comments below and thanks for watching watching until next time bye